Is it useful to do more warm up at the beginning of a workout? You want to have some sort of general global warm up scheme. Uh, we tend to prefer dynamic warm ups. So this is whole body movements rather than like sitting and stretching, uh, static stretching, things like that. So, so something that involves momentum. Yeah, momentum or movement, right? So this is like, uh, think about this in like old gym class. It's like your high knees and your, and your butt kickers and just different things like that, where you're moving in different planes, um, you're moving joints through tons of range of motion, you're, you're getting a lot of movement there. So you're getting the local warm up. you're also getting the, the total systemic activation, everything else is going on there. So that is what we consider to be a general warm up. Five minutes is a very sufficient number, perhaps 10 if you're a slow goer, achy and some things like that. And you really gotta get the ankle warmed up if you're doing lower body stuff, really make sure that that's moving correctly. The hips and knees will follow. Um, upper body stuff, really good. The shoulder blades and the neck, like making sure you're going there and the elbows will follow after that. Um, so five to seven minutes of a general warm up. A lot of the times like classic exercise science, it will even just put you on a 